That's here. A big R. Okay, so we have the pretty side versus the ugly side. That's what you meant. This is the pretty side. Mm -hmm. Nice and neat. With the pulmonary? Yes. That's how you can tell? That's, yep. that's the pulmonary trunk. That's, that's right? pulmonary trunk. Mm -hmm. So it's nice and neat. And this side's very, very ugly and Ro everything. Stuff, yeah, you can't tell what's in what. So this side sits in the back, this side's in the front. Okay. So this is the right, this is the left, making that the left atrium, the right atrium, and the pulmonary, pulmonary trunk. trunk. That goes I thought from the these right were the auricles. Well, they are, but that's atriums. Oh, yeah, those oh, are the same atriums. Thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. yeah. The auricles are there. I'm like, I have no idea. Yeah, they're like, what are you talking about? Like the ear flaps. I'm not going to start nicknaming yeah. anything because yeah. I don't know. It. Yeah, so these are atriums. So if you want to put an auricle down, that's fine. But uh, auricles are usually just referring to the outside of it outside. rather than the inside. So it's still the atrium, right. but it's a special <laughs> name. Right. I just remember those dog ears. Yeah, yeah, that's what they are. Yep. Um, okay, so then the other thing we have on the outside is layer. So if there was a pen stuck here and you have a card, this is layer, we want epicardium. Epicardium, which is the outside. Outside. If there's a card that says groove, then we're looking for the ventricular sulcus here, or we're looking for the um, coronary sulcus, which would be more, um, oh, this one's really thick, um, kind of, see that little vessel right there? Very well. In between. In between. So it'd be it would it would be the one that goes around this way rather than down. <laughs> so if there was a groove, like a yeah. On the front, well, it goes like all the way around. It kind of goes around this so way. Like yeah, it's circles. It, circle it goes between um, the atrium. the atrium and the ventricles. And the pulmonary. So well, think of it as between the atrium and the, ventri and the ventricle section is the coronary sulcus, the groove. But the ventricular sulcus definitely goes down the ventricles. Yeah. It's just easier to see here. There's other ones on here. Those are just the easy ones. Um, if it's not um, a layer or a groove, but it's still right here on this thing, then we want coronary vessel because that's what that is. So the coronary sulcus goes around this way. Yes. And yeah. the coronary vessel goes down. Well, the coronary vessel sits in the in the sulcus. Oh, okay. So if so it the doesn't blue say line yeah, thing is the vessel. Is the vessel that sits little, in the groove. Okay, and the, the in between is the groove. Right. So we would oh, okay. say groove if we wanted you to put ventricular sulcus. But if it was here and we didn't say have a card that says groove, then that's the coronary vessel. Vessel and then the coronary sulcus. Mm -hmm. Sulcus groove. Well, coronary sulcus goes this way. Ventricular the ventricle sulcus. Goes. Yeah. Yeah. But they're both grooves. That's why it says groove. And then, okay. Groove, groove, groove. layer. This, the so it says layer, you're going to say it's going to say yeah, layer. epicardium. Yeah, you would say that. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> groove, it would be the a sulcus. sulcus. Yeah, either, either, and then if it's not, it's then it's not vessel. Well, that's right. the only vessel we have, though, yes. right? Okay. Yes. Um, Okay, so then, um, again, pulmonary trunk, the, the bigger of the two openings is the aorta, um, and then on the back, from the ugliness back here, we have the superior and inferior vena cava. See, that's where I couldn't find. I know. Yeah, we were like, what? Where is it? I know. Hold on. Come on. Oh, nope, see, I put my finger in the opposite place. I was like, do you see it? That wasn't that hole, so hold on. Okay. That's oh. all. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. Let's see if I can get these two attached. I'm not sure if I'm going to. There's the end of it. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah. Okay, so there would be some kind of stick or something stuck through. To oh, okay. make you to make you notice, oh, hey, that goes together. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Big hint. Okay, so the portion that's closer down here um, is going to be the inferior, inferior vena cava. The one that's up here is going to be the superior, superior vena cava. So it doesn't quite go up and down. It will in the cat because it's oriented right, but this isn't really oriented right. So it's kind of superior is up the top. Well, whatever one's higher, I, I think of it at the top of the heart. This is oh, okay, more yeah. top to me. This is more bottom to me. Mm -hmm. So superior vena cava, inferior. 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 inferior, inferior down here, superior up here. So it's gonna have like a rod going through. Yeah, there'd be something that goes through. Here and yep. one point yeah, or one here and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so inferior down, superior, superior up. up. I know it doesn't look like it's up, but it's. It is. This one's in the way. It's, it's like this one is pointing out towards the front of it. Yeah, you can think of that, but you're not going to be able to move around the heart. Yeah. That's the thing. So, And this may not be here. This side might not be here. No, it, might be it might just be a half. It just might be half of a heart. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you to depend on trying to see something over here. 
Um, okay. Yeah, that, that's my only. Move. My thing is maybe if it's a rod going through connecting, yes. that's then you know it's a pinna cava. Pinna cava, just kind of pinna cava inferior right. or superior. It's superior. Mm -hmm. But it's closer to the atrium, right? Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, don't depend on it. Yeah, don't depend on that. So if it was like a half a heart, you know, it'd be stuck like this. And so, so inferior, is, superior inferior top. is down here, mm -hmm. and then superior is up that way. Um, okay, the only other hole that you would have to be able to recognize um, is the pulmonary veins, and those aren't really that clear. Um, again, this was the left side, so we're looking for holes that lead us into the left atrium. <laughs> and on this thing, it's like a bunch of fat. Um, uh, um, yeah, this is almost, uh, almost impossible to put this in here. Okay, so there's one. Okay, so there's one hole right here. So there should be a total of four. There won't ever be four. Um, so that's the... But that's, a, that's the pulmonary, pulmonary vein. vein. So it goes back to the right um, atrium. Sorry, left atrium. Left atrium. It goes back to the left atrium. So basically, if you're looking at this, um, here's the aorta. Okay, this, this over this side would be the superior and inferior vena cava. The only other hole is the pulmonary vein. So it's going to be over here next to the left atrium. Mm. So aorta, mm -hmm. pulmonary trunk, mm -hmm. you have the inferior vena cava. Over here. Superior. Superior vena cava. Inferior. Inferior vena cava. Superior. Is superior always going to be on the inferior. other side? Superior. 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 Inferior, superior. Because it's the rough oh, side. Is, is superior always going to be on the opposite side of the left atrium? Um, again, oh, it depends try on not how to do that. Yeah, yeah, just try not to do that. <laughs> okay. I know it's hard to do. I know you're like, oh, I can't just do that. But if you can, if you can look at it this way, okay, it was this way. Um, again, this is the back of the heart. So this is the left. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and then you would have, again, this wouldn't be there. If this was oh, that's right. <laughs> so, I was like, whatever you do this. We're trying to pin it to something. <laughs> I know, right I know you are. I know you but are. You can remember. But see, this is, this is going to be, um, Technically, your right atrium on this side. So, this right here is um, the inferior. Okay, so, right. So, okay, <laughs> okay right atrium uh -huh. is going to be near your vena cava because that's where they go in. Mm -hmm. Okay, your pulmonary vein is going to be on the opposite side next to the left atrium. Okay, and then your aorta is going to be the big old thick one. Pulmonary one is right. What are these? Uh, that looks like fat. Oh. Yeah, so I was like, that what are fat. those? Oh, that looks like fat. Yeah, that's fat. Wow. I'd like to peel them. See what's under that fat. One of those holes. That's hard. So that's a pulmonary vein. Okay. One of them. Inferior, superior, aortic, pulmonary vein. Got it. Got it. Got it. Kind of. Sort of. Getting it. All right. So then when we open it up, you also will have to be able to tell left versus right because you're going to have to do specific chambers, left versus right, ventricle, atrium, all that kind of stuff. So looking for a card that says layer, we'll start there. So epicardium, mm -hmm. myocardium, myocardium, endocardium. endocardium. So if, if it's, it's pointing to, like, in here. This is layer, endocardium. Endo. So it's pointing here, it says layer, it's endo. endocardium. If it's pointing here and it says layer, myocardium, outside. Now, if it's here but doesn't have layer, then we want the uh, ventricular septum. Yep. But that's okay. the only place that it would have not a layer. Okay. Okay, so then uh, if it's here and has a card that says be specific chamber, then that's the left ventricle, right ventricle, uh, left atrium, and the right atrium. We can't see it. So um, that would ha have to be the chamber. So you have to be specific on there. Okay. So left versus right and the ventricle atrium. Um, Chordae tendinae, so the, the pin would be intertwined in all of these. Um, if it's pointing to like this bulgy part right here, and it doesn't say layer, and it doesn't ask for chamber, we're looking for papillary, papillary muscle. Papillary muscle. So the big bulgy parts of all of this, papillary muscle. So wherever the cords attach, that's papillary muscle. And this part is just, just the other side. It's yes. not necessarily yeah. the papillary muscle. No, no. This is that would be down there. There, this one is um, uh, more of a, like a little ligament that's in here. Um, that's not part of the actual um, muscle. It's, oh. it's another. It's another type of uh, support system that's in there, but not part of the valve. Um, all right, for the valves, it's got to be on the fleshy part. So any of this fleshy part here. Uh, and that's going to be more on the inside of the fleshy part rather than pointed this way. 
because this gets confusing because it, up here is the aortic valve, and so we wouldn't pin it on the outside of the valve. We're going to pin it on the inside, inside of the, the valve. Inter- yeah. So here would be the bicuspid, and here would be the tricuspid. Um, again, bicuspid on this side. But this is part of the aortic valve, that little flap. The little part? Yep. And that <laughs> flap here is also part of the aortic valve. So, and so is that. So it gets a little confusing, but you got to make sure you're looking at the, the right valve. <laughs> so we'll pin it from this side for the tri- bicuspid, bicuspid, bicuspid or tricuspid. And then we'll pin it from any side on this way for the aortic. Yeah, I just got to remember yeah. where it runs. Yes. Yeah. And the pulmonary one we can't see, so we don't do that one. So this one is the only bicuspid, and this is the only tricuspid. tricuspid. Well, yeah, there's a, I mean, the way it's been cut. Oh, yeah, yeah. on yeah. both sides, okay. Yeah, because that's bicuspid here, too. Yeah, okay. Do we use these same ones for the test? Well, there'll be whatever he picks out of the buckets, yeah. So this might be one, but... <laughs> Does um, less more than do it? Yes. <laughs> Unless he has help. Then he, then he might pass it on. All right. All right. That's it.